So we've looked at short methods of differentiation when you've got single terms. What about if it's something like this here, where you've got two products, and you could expand it out and add like terms, etc. But if it becomes tedious, there is a quicker way of doing it, and it's called the product rule. So this works when you've got two products in terms of x, and we call the first one u and the second one v. So we're looking at u times v. It could be something like, you could use it in terms of uh, something like y equals x, you can do x squared plus 2 uh, all cubed. Later on we learn what you do when there's an index there as well. But in this one, that would be u, the x would be u, and the brackets would be v. So we use it in terms like this. Product rule. And the product rule states that if y equals u times v, products of u and v, where u and v are expressions in terms of x, then the derivative dy dx equals v u dash plus u v dash and you can write that one down as your formula in your theory. So let's say we have an example like this we'll label the first bracket u and the second bracket v so we're using the product rule because they're times. Now I think it's helpful just on the side to write out the four things we need. u equals x cubed minus 5x plus 2 and u dash, the derivative of that, is 3x squared minus 5. v is x to the fourth minus 1 and v dash is 4x cubed. It's a 3. Okay, so the rule says dy dx equals v u dash plus u v dash equals, and then we'll put them in brackets. So all we've got to do is have a look over here. So it starts with v. So v is x to the fourth minus 1 times u dash 3x squared minus 5. plus u is x cubed minus 5x. I might just rub out that line there. Not like that. Hmm, I can't. x cubed minus 5x plus 2 times v dash is 4x cubed. Just ignore the line there. And I think it's helpful doing it like this in an exam, particularly when you're rushing and you're stressed. It's easy just to work it out first and then have a look there. And then we can expand it out. So that's 3x to the 6th. It's 5x to the 4th minus 3x squared plus 5 that's 4x to the 6th, that's 20x to the 4th, that's 8x cubed. And then we'll collect like terms. So we've got 1x to the 6th, another x to the 6th. So all up we've got 7x to the 6th. And I like to put a dot above it just to know that I've done it. And have we got an x to the 5? No. And then we've got minus 5x to the 4th, minus 20x to the 4th. That's minus 25x to the 4th. And we've got x cubes. 8x cubed there, and that's the only one. That's 8x cubed. That's done. So my dots tell me that we've just got a minus 3x squared and a plus 5 left for our derivative. And we've dotted everything. So that's the derivative using the product rule.